Hey, DMP, what are you doing? Hey, everybody, welcome to DMP Uncut. Yeah, we're gonna just shoot a video today. We're not gonna cut anything. We're just gonna post it on up. Um, and this is uh, by suggestion of Control Z. Hey. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to make a basic brine to, um, well, to brine whatever meats you wanna smoke or roast. It makes it super tasty. And this is especially for my friend, Christy, um, who has enjoyed my smoked meats and wanted to know how to make some herself. That didn't come out right at all. But we're not cutting, so we're gonna keep on going. This is for Christy. Yay, yeah, Christy! Yay, yeah, Christy! Right, what What's the first thing you need? Okay, the first thing we need to do is get a pot and put water in it. So, and not put the lid on the floor. The thing is, you can start with cold or hot water. Um, this is gonna be really. We should. Can you turn it on slower so this video can just last unnecessarily yeah, yeah. longer? Yeah, it, it'll be fine. Just keep watching the water and don't think about having to pee. So there you go. Just uh, hot water, and you can start warming it up. Uh, front, front single. Now basically, this is just gonna be a salt bath. We're gonna soak the meat in overnight or for a couple days, whatever you want to do. Um, and this is going to, again, be super, super simple, and then you can add whatever the hell you want to it. So brine and place salt, and that's what we're going to use. Uh, I'm going to use pickling salt for this one because it dissolves in uh, cooler water. And you do about a half a cup, but you can eyeball it. Now, pickling salt is a smaller grain, right? That's that, is, hard. that is correct. It's just a smaller grain, and so it'll dissolve easier. You yeah. can use kosher salt if you want to. What are your ratios? Um, there's a bunch of water and then uh, a bunch of salt. But figure about half a cup is good. Per. Half a cup per, I think I've got about a quart of water in there. Also, you can, uh, if the water is super hot and you want to get the meat in there sooner, you can drop ice in it. So there's the salt. i kick that. Put the spurs to it. So get the salt dissolving. Then for a basic brine, here's what I add. I do a little onion powder. And again, you can measure this if you want to, but about a quarter cup of the onion powder. <laughs> this is how I cook, folks. That's a little? You gotta deal with it. In case you're wondering who's gonna clean this up later, It'll that be... person's not on camera. Yes. About the same amount of garlic granules. Not garlic salt. Do not use garlic salt. So about Gran that much. Granulated garlic, not garlic salt. Right. Goes on in. Okay. Now, normally I'd put in some sage, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use rosemary instead. These are not interchangeable. It'll just be a different flavor. Right. Just wanted to point out for our, our contestants at home that these are not interchangeable spices. No. But it's really just to taste, right? It really is. And whatever's in your cupboard. Yep. The, for me, the base is the onion and garlic powder mm -hmm. with the salt. And that'll give you a good brine. I mean, honestly, you could just do salt. Yeah. You could literally just brine it. And uh, it will enhance your meatiness. How come you're not doing things like throwing in fresh garlic or fresh onion? Some people might ask. <laughs> well, a couple of reasons. One, this is in the cupboard and I don't have any of those other things. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> two, I've, just, I've noticed that the powdered stuff works really well for a, for a brine. And um, also I didn't feel like cutting any of that up. It's a little bit different flavor for me. I mean, you can use fresh if you want to. I prefer using the powdered. I also prefer to use a whisk, a little rubber whisk. This is the camera person highlighting the DMP is in fact lying to you on a rather steady basis. I did not lie. I just didn't look in the vegetable dish. There's <laughs> a difference. Yeah, never mind all that wobbly camera work there. <laughs> so I just, just whisk everything together. It's a little bit lumpy right now because I dumped stuff into a cold bath. That's fine. Now here's the optional thing. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh my God, that's bad for you. It will kill you. But I like to add a little... MSG because it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, that's not even open. Awesome. I happen to have some right here. I think. Yes. So just a bit. You don't need to add much. Maybe a, a tablespoon or so of MSG. Now, yes, it's uh, people forget about MSG. It give you a high blood pressure, make you grow another toe. I have no idea. But a lot of that's been disproven. So do your own research, and uh, it's just delicious. It can still, too much is the same thing as any sodiums. Yeah. It can, it, if, if you're supposed to be sensitive if in your diet to sodiums, then pay attention to that. Yeah. 
But the, it's another sodium. Right. And this is just, again, the, the salt is the key to this brine. Yep. And that's basically it. The brine is done. Um, the salt has been dissolved. And everything's mixed in. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to brine a pork loin. Okay, so I, you just you just turned the heat off. I did. So you're, you're, you just need to get it so it's dissolved and that's it? Yeah, that's it. Just get it dissolved. That's all so, you need to do. So your brine's done now? My brine's done. I've done oh, the damn. brine. Look at yes. that. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah, in fact, you don't want this to be too hot. Uh, oh. Otherwise, it will cook the pork and that will um, it will change it. If the, you cook the pork, it won't absorb as much of the um, the goodness. Oh. Of the, uh, so does it need to be cold when you put it in? Nope, just... Nope, that's fine. Just basically room temperature. Room temperature, okay. Uh, not not above, say, 100 degrees. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. Now what we're going to do is pour this into a two-gallon zip bag uh, on the stove. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to glove it up. See, the thing about recording on the phone is that it zooms in really far. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to step back, but also show what you're doing. That's uh, why. Uh, that, that's fine. So, so if you get up all in my grill, I'm going to ignore you and focus on the food. That, that's as, as you should. So this, this is, is uncut. <laughs> this is for pork today, but you could use chicken or turkey or. Oh yeah. In fact, I did um, wings, chicken wings the other day. Oh, that's right. Got the, actually came really big ass chicken wings. Maybe may truly from Buffalo. Yeah, the really big buffalo wings. <laughs> and I did those. They came out great, and then I smoked them. Um, so what I'm going to do, we sliced up this uh, lovely uh, pork loin. Uh, I removed all the fat and most of the silver skin. That's that weird, tough connective tissue across mm -hmm. the top. I'm going to pop that these right in here. Oh, so you're going to put them all in. Okay, cool. Yeah. They're all going in. Mm -hmm. And then just pour your brine right over the top. There you go. All brined up, no place to go. The nice thing about putting this in a zip bag is you don't have to use as much liquid. You can just squish the air out and so the meat has lots of contact. Squishy, squishy. And that's the key is the meat should have good contact with the liquid as long as it's in there. Yay! I kind of manipulated that around so the meat isn't touching each other. Now this is still hot, by the way. Oh, I'll move that away, thank you. And that way there's maximum brine to meat contact. Now what? Now it goes to the fridge for a day or so until you're going to bake it or smoke it. In our case, we're going to smoke it tomorrow. Okay. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do is have some warm-ish water, mm -hmm. um, hot enough to dissolve salt. Uh, put about a half cup of salt in, maybe a quarter cup of onion powder, a quarter cup of garlic uh, powder or granulated gar garlic. Um, some herbage, whatever you want to do, sage, rosemary, um, lawn clippings, um, a tree leaf if you like. I mean, don't do any of those last two. And then if you want, about a tablespoon of MSG. And that's it for your brine. Put whatever your meat of choice is in there. Leave it in the fridge overnight. Um, the next day, take it out. Make sure you rinse it. Um, and then you could put a, um, a dry rub on it if you want to. Uh, a lot of the times I make my so own you, Why don't you lose the glove? You... No, I'm just, I like it. It's stylish. No, you're touching raw pork with it. Oh. If you wouldn't mind. Thank you. So you can use a rub if you want. I'm using Corky's. Mm -hmm. uh, it's out of Memphis. Or you can make your own. And uh, that's it. That's how you make a delicious brine to make delicious meat. Uh, Chrissy, I hope you got all that. If not, that's what the rewind button is <laughs> down here. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. So if you don't have a smoker, but... Would this still work if you want to cook it up in not a smoke, like in a grill or oven or pan or yeah, something? Yeah, that's why I said earlier that you can put it in a smoker or you can put it in the oven or, or whatever. Sorry, I might have been zooming and didn't hear you. Zoom! Cliff Notes, everybody at home, rewind yeah. to that time when he said that previously. Yes, and uh, don't pay any attention to that flashlight on the counter nope. um, from the third minute. Yep. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, if you're not going to smoke it, then roasting in the oven is great. Um, you can slice it and pan fry it. 
Uh, basically, all this is doing is it, it's uh, adding flavor uh, inside the meat. Um, the nice thing about this is there's a lot of salt in here, but it doesn't get super salty, and you don't have to add more salt later. Um, it's just more of a, 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 a flavor homogenization. No, um, there's flavor through and through. And moisture. And moisture. It does make it a lot yeah. more moist. Um, I highly recommend doing this for turkey. Yeah. I take a turkey breast and do this. Uh, if a turkey breast can really dry out, this helps it to not do that. Yeah. Delicious. Friggin' delicious. Yes. Uh, so we'll shoot some more video tomorrow when I smoke it. Thanks, right. everybody. Thanks, Christy, for suggesting it. Thanks, Z, for Ooh. filming this. And this has been DMP Uncut. Everyone stay home, stay safe, and wash your hands, especially if you've been handling pork. Bye! Bye.